Before I start, I'm going to tie my hair up so it doesn't get in the way. Then I'm going to apply eyeshadow primer onto my eyelids, then work the product in with my fingers bringing it down under my eye area and also onto my eyebrows. Now I'm putting mattifying primer on my forehead, my chin, and my cheeks to make sure I don't get oily on those places throughout the day and to help my makeup last a little longer. Taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to smear the product onto my mixing palette. If you don't have one, you can use the back of an old CD or a plate, but just make sure you clean it down with alcohol before you use it. Also, make sure you have a sharpener that's big enough to fit the Jumbo Pencils because you might need more product than what's on the palette. Mine is by Wet n Wild and I got it for 75 cents. And I'm going to apply this all over my face with a flat foundation brush, and I'm not going to bring it down to my neck, I'm just going to outline the outer parts of my face. I'm covering everything. My eyelids, my eyebrows, around my nose. Having the product on the palette helps because this allows you to put on a nice even layer of product and you can build up the color of white that you want by layering the creamy NYX pencil with the flat foundation brush. To make my face less streaky, I'm just patting my face down with my hand because the warmth from your hand will warm the product up and further blend it into your skin. Now I'm just setting everything with translucent powder and a fluffy brush to make our face less creamy and this will also help our makeup stay put. Taking a black eyeshadow, I'm just filling in my brows as I normally would using an angled brush. Using another NYX Jumbo Pencil, but in black bean, I'm going to apply this onto my lid and underneath my lower lash line. And you don't have to be super neat for this step because next we're going to want to take a pencil brush and smudge this product out like I'm doing right there, which is really softening up the product. And I'm catting it out just a tiny bit towards the outer corners of my eyes, which is completely optional. Taking a flat brush and some black eyeshadow, I'm going to pat it right over the creamy black liner we just smudged out. And don't forget to put some on your lower lash line too. With a clean tapered blending brush, I'm going to just move it back and forth in my crease and my lower lash line. This will blend out the black eyeshadow and smoke it out. And I am trying to talk really fast through this video so it's not super long, but don't worry because I'm going to list all the products that I used down below in the description box, even the brushes that I used. Now taking a very dark brown eyeshadow and another blending brush that isn't too fluffy, I'm going to pop this into my crease. This will give us a prettier looking eye, so the white and the black doesn't look too harsh or drastic on our eyelids. And with the same brush, you're also going to want to blend out the shadow underneath your lower lash line. And I'm just going to go back in with my black eyeshadow and touch everything up. Cleaning my flat brush, I'm going to take a white eyeshadow and apply it right underneath my brows. And this part is totally optional, but I think it really cleans the eyes up. Taking the white NYX Jumbo Pencil again, I'm going to put this on my lower waterline to help open up the eyes since there's so many dark colors going on. And to help the pencil stay put, I'm just patting white eyeshadow over it. I'm not going to use falsies, so I'm just curling my lashes and applying mascara. Now, you're going to take a toothpick, and to make the ends less pointy, I'm going to rub it back and forth on a hard surface to flatten them out just a tiny bit. With one end of the toothpick, I'm going to dip it into a dark gray eyeshadow and I'm going to swipe it once on the back of my hand so I don't have too much product. And for this step, you need to find the apples of your cheeks. To find that, you're going to smile and it's that rounded area right there. Now, with your toothpick with the gray eyeshadow on it, you're going to start outlining the bottom right half of an O onto your cheek. And you're going to use the bottom half of the apples of your cheek as a guide for the bottom half of the circle like so. And don't worry if the line is faint because you can always go back and pick up more product and go over your tracing. With a clean pencil brush, we're going to lightly go over our half circle and feather the product out. This will give a shadowing effect, giving our cheeks and the shape some depth. And you can use the brush to blend the product out towards the top and near the bottom to form a half circle like I'm doing right there, but it's really up to you. Putting this NYX Jumbo Pencil in plush red onto my palette, I'm going to take the other end of the toothpick and dip it into this product. And now we're going to start making the swirls onto our cheeks. And I'm going to use the half circle we made as a guide on how round my swirl should be. Take your time on this part. Because the first couple of times I did this and tried to rush it, my swirl came out all funky and weird. And again, it's okay if you go in very lightly because you can always pick up more product and go back over it later to make it darker. And go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. 
And if some of you are wondering why I decided to use a toothpick for this step, is because I tried to use so many different brushes to make these outlines, and they were just not turning out the way I wanted them to. The toothpicks really gave me more control on how precise I wanted my shapes and designs to be. So if you figure out another way to do this, comment down below because I'd love to know. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow, and with my tapered blending brush, I'm going to put this on the sides of my nose, starting from the top and connecting it towards my brow bones, like that. And then taking a clean pencil brush, I'm going to blend this down the sides of my nose to give my face more depth, dimension, and shape. And the black was a bit too dark for me, so I just used a wedge to take some of the product off. If this happens to you, you can also use a Q-tip. Okay, so I got it to the color I want, and I'm just going to keep on blending the shadow down the sides and around the tip of my nose. With the same red we used earlier, I'm going to take a lip brush and start lining my lips, making the top half a little bit more pointy than usual, and eventually filling the rest of my lips in. With my mouth closed, I'm going to draw a straight line out from the corners of my lips, and connect the bottom and upper half of a lipstick to this line, giving my mouth a creepy extended look. And here I'm just applying a Red NYX Extreme Lip Cream so my lips can look more vibrant and glossy. Lastly, with a black jumbo pencil, we're going to use this with an eyeliner brush to draw lines coming from my mouth like the Jigsaw doll in Saw. And if you want, you can take whatever is left on that brush to darken up the outlines on your cheeks. For your hair, you can curl it for a more glamorous kind of look, or crimp it for a creepier but still put together kind of look. I'm not sure which way I like better, but this Numi Deep Waver and Curling Iron in one gives me the freedom of picking or choosing which hairstyle I want to go with. That's right, it's a curling iron and a deep waver. And if you do this, make sure to use a heat protectant, which I did but didn't record, because this thing gets up to 400 degrees so it can totally burn your hair off. Now, all you gotta do is put on a white button-up, mine is from Target, which I got for $12, and get a red bow tie, got mine on eBay for seven bucks, and put on a blazer, which I got at H&M for under $20, and you are Halloween ready. Scary, but cute, and is really inexpensive to do. Again, all the products and brushes used will be listed down below. If you try this yourself, tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I'd love to see it. Hope you guys like this video. Bye. <laughs>